I don't have that English. <laughs> no pressure more. <laughs> um, what what a beautiful day. What what an amazing ceremony. What amazing people. Um, let's just give a hand clap for the Lord. A thunderous hand clap. Woo! God has been so good. They were singing that song in church of you've been faithful. And I was remembering Josh's ashy feet and his, <laughs> you know, and, and I was saying, Lord, this is how far you have brought us. You know, and I am extremely, extremely proud of you. Um, I would also love to clap for the anointed people in this room. It's, uh, it's powerful. There's so many anointed men of God that we've seen growing up. Um, it's just amazing to have all of you here. I'd love for us to clap for all of you. Thank you so much for, for being great leaders of this nation. Thank you for listening to the call that the Lord has put on your lives. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Being a pastor's son, I've seen what um, pastor's families go through. It's not easy. So we appreciate the sacrifice that you have made. We appreciate um, you just obeying the Lord. We appreciate your obedience. Um, well, I've never been one for writing speeches. I've usually been one to wing it. But this is your day, Josh. I had to put down a few notes. I don't want to miss anything. I had wanted to start by asking pa Pastor Peter Dosek whether he ever learned how to tie that lead. Yeah? <laughs> because that was a very important lesson. For those who aren't in church, uh, Pastor Peter Dosek gave a very good example. In fact, while we're on that note, I'd love to recognize my beautiful fiancé who's in the room. Baby, just stand and wave. Thank you. So, back to Joshua. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you um, for enduring COVID and the, the scare. I went for the test and uh, this guy put a swab in my nose and I said sneezing and sneezing because of the irritation. And the lady who was doing the register kept telling me, wear your mask, wear your mask. I'm like, don't you see I'm dying? How do I wear a mask when I'm sneezing like this? So I know it's not easy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, to Joshua's parents, um, Pastor Jackson Senyonga and Pastor Eva Senyonga, um, Uncle and Auntie, we love you guys. You have, you have, showed, you have uh, set the bar so high. You have set a huge standard. We love you. We respect you. And uh, I mean, the fruits can just show. You know, Josh is a special person. He's a special human being. Your thought, God's thoughts towards you are very delicate. Your life has been delicate. You've gone through a few things, but you've always, always stayed on course. And I respect that. I love that about you. Um, Joanne's parents, you know what they say? Uh, tell me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Man, I've loved your friends. You, you know how to make friends. And that's a very, it's a huge, huge compliment. I love your friends. I love how um, committed they are. I respect that, and I'm sure just by what I've seen, the way you interact with your friends, you're the right person for Josh. Um, well, Joshua, this, this today is about you, so I'm going to go back to you again. I hate reading speeches, but uh, let me just speak from the heart. So, Josh, we go way back. I've known you since you were a little boy. For the record, Josh is my uh, baby brother. <laughs> um, but we've grown up together we've been brothers I've seen him um, grow from age to age I've seen him grow through different seasons but he has remained consistent he has remained passionate he has remained loving he has remained humble that is no joke you are a gem not only in this country not only in our family but you are a gem in this entire world you have a special, special anointing upon your life. And it's, it's amazing for me to watch, and it's such an honor that I get to be here with you and watch you go into this journey. 
and be with you because I'm joining you in a couple of weeks, you know. So you've set the level, now I'm about to level up. So I appreciate you for doing that. I'll go back to my speech a little bit. Can I just read so I save time? So, so many memories come to my mind, but the fondest were the hugs after not seeing each other for a long time, or the endless goodbyes when we had to separate. You've always been a brother, a friend, a confidant, and a great example of what God-fearing men should be like. Many people tend to think that the fear of the Lord is the fear of his might. I truly believe that the fear of the Lord is the fear of being away from him. He is everything. Imagine how much he has loved you both and how much he is going to enrich you. Thank you for always pursuing him and his purpose for your life. Thank you for being obedient to his call. Thank you for always being, for doing everything with passion. Thank you for being a great leader and thank you for putting the work in. Thank you for always being brave and taking the hard choice when it's usually the right one. Thank you for sticking to the promises you've made to God and to yourself. It has all led you to this. Joanne, you're special. Or Joan, my Joan, <laughs> you're special. You're the only girl who could get Josh on his knee. I met you first in school. You're such a little girl. You know, I actually that day, the day I met you, Pastor Luaga had come to see you. And also to go back to thanking parents, Pastor Luaga looked at me. He saw people say I look like my dad, Pastor Peter Sozi. And he calls me, he's like, young man, are you Pastor Peter Sozi's son? I'm like, yes. And he gave me a hug and he embraced me. And, you know, that showed that there's brotherhood. I respect that a lot. Yes, you can clap for him. Thank you. So, um, watching you grow into this, Joanne, it's special. It's, it's just a privilege for me to be here and watch you go through this and have such a, a beautiful occasion and a beautiful function. I love you. You're already part of the family. You have thick skin, so you'll handle my bad jokes and my teasing. But uh, that's part of it. You're joining a crazy family, but we are full of love. We are always there for each other. We always support one another. We are loyal. We will go to the death. We'll do anything for our family. That's the kind of family you have joined. Now, for the both of you and your family, there's a statement that I really like. Every prayer today is a season tomorrow. My prayer for you is that God will give you both the strength to lead your new family with grace, with wisdom, and above all, the continued pursuit of the destiny he has designed for you as a family. Your marriage is going to be an unexplainable example of Jesus' love to the church. Yesterday, as uh, in the bachelor pad, we had a worship session, and we just said, Lord, just come and take over. And truly, the Lord has been here. His presence has been evident. Because in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. Look at the smiles on these people's faces. Look at the smiles of, on everyone's face. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. And I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much, the organizing committee. Thank you so much, everyone who put an effort to make this uh, function the wonderful and uh, amazing function it has been. God bless you all. Thank you.